Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Conley and we're here at East Valley CrossFit where we're going to do a demonstration of the crossover symmetry system and give you an idea of how you can use that to strengthen the rotator cuff and the muscles of the scapula. So, scapula being this bone right here, it helps facilitate movement of the arm. You can go ahead and grab the red straps for me, please. We're going to be doing this exercise to improve uh, muscular control of the muscles of the scapula. So starting with his feet, you can see that he's got a wide base of support, but we're actually going to go to a split stance. So go ahead and take that for me. Reason being we're in a split stance is so that you don't sway around. Okay. Next, I can see that he's in an anterior tilt at the hips. We actually want him in a posterior pelvic tilt. So you're tucking your tail between your legs. That's going to create a neutral spine. And now I'm going to ask Anthony to perform few repetitions for the camera. Good. So I want you to start by bringing the scapula in, squeezing those shoulder blades, and don't bring those elbows back too far. Excellent. So come forward, keep those shoulders down and back. So just relax. Very good. So as you can see right here, go ahead, scapula pinching together. That's the row. All right, now we're gonna have Anthony here demonstrate the reverse row. So Anthony, go ahead and grab the yellow straps for me, please. And we're gonna have you cross them. So I'm gonna have Anthony in the same set of position, um, palms facing in, good, shoulders down and back. And now, arms straight, you're gonna pull apart. Good, make sure you're squeezing those scapula together. Go ahead. And then go ahead and return maybe just a little bit slower in the beginning. Uh, we want to work on that eccentric phase of the movement or lengthening the muscle. Good. There we go. Much better. All right, now we're going to have Anthony demonstrate a serratus anterior punch. So when he gets positioned, I'm gonna explain what that muscle is. It's actually connecting from the ribs to the scapula, and it helps to facilitate movement of the scapula towards the front of the body, um, necessary to prevent winging of the scapula. So Anthony, go ahead and grab the straps. So he's gonna set up the same way with his feet, posterior pelvic tilt, chest up, shoulders down and back. Go ahead and bring those arms forward, Anthony. So that was just a simple chest press. Go ahead and do that again. All right, and now I'm gonna have him add in the punch at the end. So you really wanna emphasize pushing through with, those, with that back. Good. And that's the serratus anterior punch. All right, now we're moving on. We're gonna do some internal rotation with those bands. So Anthony, go ahead and grab the yellow band for me. We're gonna go a little lighter than you might normally. And I'm actually gonna take this pad. We can use this or a towel. We're gonna put it right in between his arm. Reason being, the arm is down at the side. This muscle right up here called the supraspinatus is gonna be a little tension and we don't want that. Okay. I have his feet, um, same plane. So side by side and that wide base support. Posterior pelvic tilt, shoulders down and back. So go ahead, you'll have to come out a little bit this way. So take your arm out. You probably want to hold right there. There we go. And then bring that arm in, Anthony. So he just has a slight movement coming from up to down. How's that feeling? Good. Smooth. And that's internal rotation with the crossover symmetry. All right, moving along, I'm gonna have Anthony demonstrate a fly with external rotation. Reason being is now we're gonna work that overhead plane where a lot of people are doing those pressing movements. So Anthony, go ahead and grab the straps. So we're gonna cross the straps again, palms down. He's gonna assume that split stance position, posterior pelvic tilt, chest up, shoulders down and back. Now I'm gonna have you row and turn those palms up. Again, working on external rotation. 
We're going to move through this movement slowly. Good, so go ahead. Excellent. You can notice at the top he's not changing the angle at his elbow. Good. And that's a fly with external rotation. All right, as you can see, we've moved the straps to the bottom now, so it's at knee height. And we're gonna have Anthony demonstrate external rotation using the crossover sound tricks. So Anthony, go ahead and grab the strap. Again, I'm gonna use our towel or pad. I'm gonna put it in between his elbow. And then I'm gonna have him turn his arm out. And we wanna watch right there. He did a little bit of elbow extension. We wanna maintain this angle. So we're gonna bring this up. And now try and maintain that throughout the movement. Good. You can see he's a little limited in his range. That's all right. Probably need to stretch a little. Yeah, definitely. And again, he's maintaining good posture, good alignment. Excellent. And that's external rotation of the crossover symmetry. All right, next up we have elevation in the scaption plane. So for those that don't know, scaption is the plane of movement between the front and the side that follows the spine of the scapula. So we can feel right along here. So his would be just shy of a 45 degree angle. So go ahead and turn back, Anthony. So we have the straps crossed behind him. Anthony's in that good solid base, posterior pelvic tilt, chest up, shoulders down and back. And go ahead and raise those arms up, Anthony. Excellent. And I'm gonna ask that he doesn't go above his shoulders because when he does, that starts to activate that upper trapezius, which most of us are pretty tight in. Don't be afraid to go a little slower, take it through the movement. Remember, we're doing this for endurance and muscular control, so we're not trying to get swole. <laughs> Excellent. Good. And that's elevation in the scapular plank. All right, next up, we're going to have Anthony demonstrate abduction with the crossover symmetry band. So that's gonna be taking his arm away from his body. So go ahead and grab the bands, Anthony. So to start, I'm gonna ask that he has tension put on while the band is middle of his body. Um, go ahead and take your arm up, Anthony. Good, nice, slow and controlled. And the reason I want him starting in the beginning or the middle of his body is because that rotator cuff muscle is only active for so long coming out before the deltoid kicks in. Go ahead and keep going. Good. And make sure you don't have to go all the way up to 90 because we don't want the trap turn it off. Excellent. And that's abduction. So the last movement we're gonna be covering today is gonna to be just straight elevation of the arm. So Anthony, go ahead and grab a band for us. So one last time, you're gonna assume that good position, close to your pelvic tilt. And I'm gonna ask that you just raise that arm directly in front of you. Excellent, watch that height. We don't wanna to go too high. Again, try not to try on the trapeze. Excellent. All right, and that's elevation of the arm.